Hello, good evening. Just got home from work via a taxi. I got a taxi yesterday as well. I went on my bike Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just using a back brake. And when the weather turned bad, I thought a bit silly, isn't it? Just having one working brake when I'm on the motorway doing 70, 75. So I thought just, <laughs> just to ensure I sort of um, stay alive until tomorrow when I'm doing the job, replacing all the uh, dodgy brakes, etc. And everything's come because uh, these should be the nuts for the rear wheel, the rear disc. I'll show you, I mean this is meant to be an unboxing of everything but I've sort of nearly unboxed everything anyway. Oh there are them caps, oh they look a bit big. Yeah and a bit of a cock up that because uh, oh the M6 for M8 or something, yeah meant to be. Uh, if you saw my previous vlog, I was saying that um, I fitted the um, where the M8 or M6 M8, yeah M8, and they use a six mil Allen key. That's right on the pinch bolts on the front forks, and I've thrown the uh, button head bolts away because of the crap. These are titanium button heads for the new discs and they were twelve ninety five for six. I've ordered two sets from uh, M and P and these should be from another company that does titanium. Are oh, they gonna be the same as no no I think they have a little collar on that's right. Let's have a look. Hmm. So there for the rear disc. Let's have a look at this one. Let you wreck it. I'll probably get a bloody copyright one in that crap. <sighs> Excuse the dithering, I'm just knackered. <clears throat> yeah, so I was going to polish the old. If you saw last week's vlog, me loosening the nuts and they're all rusty. Well, I thought, why not, instead of trying to polish them, get new ones. So that's the disc that's going on. Oh yeah, everything fits. Nice and shiny. I know it won't be a very wise idea to uh, change all the discs round. Just do, I'll just do the front, see how it works out. And then when they've uh, bedded in, and the pads have bedded in, I will do the real ones at a later date, unless I do them all at once and uh, see how they go. I mean, you can, to a certain degree, bed rear ones in in the backyard, put it on the main stand, get the engine running, put it in gear, and just touch the brakes until they bed in. Just so it's all done, instead of faffing about. These are the discs that come, made by Tour Max, made in Japan, can you see? So, they're meant to be half decent ones, they're not crap, even though they're only 50 quid. And the ad on eBay said down from 138 quid each to 50 pound each. So, Tourmax, any uh, thoughts on Tourmax? Tourmax, Tourmax, for those of you who don't like my northern accent. Let me see. I know we should. Uh, get the best we can afford but uh, I thought well is it a genuine offer only 138 normally Tourmax Tourmax high performance I did a previous video on Monday when these come and I thought well no, I'll wait until Friday when theoretically everything has come and it has I read this out if I can read with my glasses and it sounds exactly like what's been happening to me <coughs> when fitting a new disc rotor, new disc pads must be fitted. Disc rotor retaining bolts must be must be in good condition or replaced. Well, that's what I'm doing. Bolts must be installed with Loctite at manufacturer recommended torque settings. Yes, I'll get some Loctite tomorrow. 
Calipers must be in good condition. If the pistons in the calipers do not retract when the brake is off, this will cause binding of the pads, yes, on the new disc rotors and will damage the rotor. I mean, mine are purple that's on the bike now. Final check after full assembly of disc rotor. That's a bit, that's a bit of pigeon English. Rotate the wheel with your hand. Apply brakes hard. Release brakes. The wheel must rotate freely. Try this several times. If at any time the disc rotor binds with the pad in an off position, the calipers are in need of refurbishment. If the bike is run with binding brakes, it will damage the new disc rotor and pads. Also, it will overheat your brake fluid, causing the brake fluid to expand and increase the pad pressure onto the disc rotor. Well, that's what happened when I was pulling the front brake on on that long ride the other was it two weeks ago to that uh, Route 59 cafe suddenly went from pulling at 30 mil and on to pulling at about 2 mil so what's happened here and that's a fluid expanding with the heat like it says here <sighs> and it will overheat your brake fluid causing the brake fluid to expand and increase the pad pressure onto the disc rotor causing bluing, warping and damage to your disc rotor on behalf of Turimax Japan so that's what happened isn't it uh, let's see how we're going to see if these <laughs> if these fit not going to be able to drill them out but the hell and it said, you know, it's all bike specific for the Hornet. Oh, yes. So, it'll be nice and shiny and new. Titanium. Titanium. Or, I mean, there was some costing a bloody fortune, but these, 12.95 for six. So, they're not going to be high grade titanium. Like, that's not high grade stainless steel, is it? But, um,. I'm sure it'll do. Yeah, them buttons. I'll throw a little litter away. I'll keep that for reference, Bill. Yeah, they come, the little caps. And I thought, oh, doesn't anyone sell the, uh, the coverall caps anymore? And then when these come, I found some from uh, Custom Choppers. And, uh, yeah, there were five for 11 95 a bit expensive, but from Highway Hawk stuff is rather dear I've had all sorts of them when I had my silver wing I had some of them ride to live live to ride mirrors and they went rusty although made in China Highway Hawk made in China I thought Highway Hawk were based in Holland are they not still although everyone has stuff made in China don't they yeah, so they cover the bolts, you know, and keep all the crap off. So, I'm sure I'll find a use for them. Uh, steel kit, just in case I have our something up. But I'm going to change the hoses, because the hoses have come, I'll show you them in a minute. Set of new uh, brake pads for the front have come because uh, the other ones have worn funny when it turned the bloody old disc purple with the new pads in I looked at the pads and there's a chunk out again so I'll start again with the new new disc and I'll keep the other spur they might be able to use and once these are established on here and they get worn somebody said oh no you have to replace them all at once because if you put new ones on one side and worn on the other it's trying to compensate. I thought, well, is it really? That's a master cylinder kit from Turamax again, who's done the disc. And that's something else I thought I'll not faff with unless absolutely necessary. I mean, maybe once the new hoses are on, that'll be an end to the difficulty. So they might not require fitting, but they're there. £18.50. And the only faff with those is that bloody spring clip. It is in, I've seen it before. <laughs> oh, there it is, yeah. You have to get some pliers, don't you, to fit in the holes and squidge them. I presume it pings on that end. 
I don't know, I've not seen one in bits apart from in the catalogue. What, you right, Blackie? What are you crying for? Some fresh food? Wait a minute. Rear brake pads, and like I said, I might stagger the fitting of the back one. Now then, hoses, yeah, I saw the Goodridge ones on uh, eBay, and then I saw these, Van the Hill, and from AS3 Performance, by, Ven oh, sorry, Van Hill, that's it. It looks a bit short, but when I measured the one on the back, it is actually the same. And the one on the back's got a kink in it, and then it goes to the rear brake caliper. But hopefully they are the right ones. I actually asked the question, because in the ad it said for the 2002 and 3 Hornet, and I said, well, aren't they all the same, all the way through to 7? Uh, we don't know, but let us know if you need a, a different banjo boat. I thought, what, they're all the same. And then the front ones. I've always wondered why. I've seen on um, muscle bikes, you know, the um, they have a long, a long banjo bolt to fit two bloody two hoses right from the uh, master cylinder. Well, why not have like the original Honda rubber ones, one banjo bolt down to a Y join instead of having two. So there's no wire joint, it's just two separate bloody hoses and they're all in bits, you have to screw in the the um no the outlet ring into the bloody thread. And there doesn't appear to be any I presume it makes just a good seal on its own. That's rather worrying. Why not why not factory fit them? So that's a bit of a concern. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you this today rather than tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be fitting it all and hoping that's a solution to all the bloody problems I've had over the past month. So I think that's all. Got everything. Spent a small fortune. 75, 85, 95. £100 for the disc, £50 each. About two hundred and fifty pound, but you can imagine if I went to a shop and they were going to charge three hours labour, that'd be another hundred and fifty, at least on the top. So I think I should be able to manage doing everything. Um, <laughs> um, famous last word. Anyway, meanwhile, my Chinese takeaway is getting cold. I forgot about that. I'm having my meal, if you don't mind, before yours. You've got biscuits, Blackie, haven't you? A taxi dropped me off. I said, can you drop me off at the Chinese? I'm starving. Friday treat. Or either that or a pot noodle. <sighs> so, thank you for watching. I have to put my Chinese out. Is it still warm? Yes. Yeah. There you are, curry. Not wash my hands. Curry, king prawn. Only need a fork. Pardon. A fork, I said. Although, hmm. Not sure what them green bits are. I think they served me quite quick. There was a queue of people and I got served first. I think it's because I mended the window last autumn. I was um, showing them they're missing the vent the little caps from uh, the ventilation holes and the drain holes. Oh, you know, I said, yeah, I used to work in windows. We got window upstairs, we lose key. I so said, let's have a look. And yeah, they've lost the key, but these handles, they're actually different. It was a vertical window that opened on a three-way, 180-degree system. Turn it 90 degrees and it opened that way. Turn it 180 and it opened that way. That's what's all this tape. Well, in winter it open and rattles, so we tape. Oh, I said if you've just lost a key, you can force it. They have um, a weakness, that lock will just snap if you put a bit of force to it. So I went like that and snapped it. 
I said, there, you'll be able to close the window and, you know, and do that and not, and try to lock it on the mechanism, but you won't, the key won't work anymore. Oh, it's OK, it's upstairs window. Thanks very much. And they, they gave me a bag of free prawn crackers. But it looks like I get served first. He must have said, I make his curry king prawn first because he fixed window, nice and warm. Anyway, so that's it. I'll be tackling this tomorrow. I've, I've waffled enough. Bye for now. I'll do a video tomorrow, of course. Maybe. Maybe I won't be in the mood. And if it's going to bloody pour down, I don't think I'll bother. I might not have the patience. Tomorrow is actually that funeral. They're having a big back of funeral for Alan Jennings. Uh, but I won't be going bikes not safe you can't go on a they're actually tracing that bloody road where he died in Weir Burnley Road in Weir I read a report in a newspaper and it's shown a wall with all the flowers there collided with a van and like I said last week he owned uh, Jennings motorcycle in Oswald Twizzle that's where I had my exhaust header pipes replaced last summer so yeah, very sad, another biker down. I don't know about the circumstance, he just said collided with a van. But, uh, yeah, to ride safe, all of us, won't we? Bye for now.